Hello, Ms. Bratcher here. This is Lesson 2, Web Design, just to review some of our previous concepts. You always want to start with that doc document declaration. It tells the browser what kind of HTML we're using, and for this one, it is HTML5. Remember to always add the four main elements. It's kind of like the bones of your web page, so we always want to have that HTML, head, title, and body. Remember that the body is visible page content, so anything that you put there is going to show up in your browser window, just like you see over here on the right. That is what your viewers will see. Whatever goes in the head tag is kind of behind the scenes information, and that will show up on the tabs at the top or if your browser has a title bar, but not in the browser window. For this lesson, we're learning something new. It's called the metadata, and the med metadata is also behind the scenes information. It's really helpful because people can now find your site more easily with the description, the keywords, and the author's name. So if they went and searched for your site, these items would help them find it. When you're filling in the information, you just replace where it says content equals with a new description. So for our lesson, we might write lesson to assignment. If your website happened to be about superheroes, you would write, a description about your superhero website, a website all about superheroes. For keywords, the more keywords you put, the better, and you want to add words that have something to do with your topic. So our topic, we're learning about metadata, HTML, um, break tags, horizontal rules. If your website was about superheroes, you might write superheroes, the Hulk, Superman, Spider-Man, and make sure that you always have more than one keyword. The more, the better. Next to author is where you're going to fill in your name. One thing you want to keep in mind is never delete where it says name equals. We're only going to type in between the quotation marks by content equals. For this last one, just replace after content equals, replace that guy's name, but keep the quotation marks there. And that is metadata. That will go on all of our websites. You can copy and paste it from each site and just change the information out as you go. So it's nothing that I'm going to make you memorize how to type from scratch. The next thing that we're going to add is headings. You guys are already aware of the heading one, and you know that it's bolder and that it's larger than a paragraph tag, but now you can add heading two, which is just a little bit smaller. And it goes all the way to heading 6, which is the smallest heading of them all. So now I'm going to add an H4 to show you the difference in size. Keep in mind that you don't ever want to add, um, make something a heading just because you want it to be bold. There's a different tag for that. It's called the strong tag. So only use headings if something is truly a heading. And H6, like I said, is our smallest heading. It's kind of hard to see. And you might want to use headings maybe if you were trying to outline something. The headings would be a good place to start. The next new tag we're going to learn about is the break tag, or the horizontal rule. And the horizontal rule is a good way to divide things up on your page. It just has a line across the screen. Once we learn how to style, you'll even learn that you can change the color and the size of your horizontal rules. The other new thing is called the break tag. And the break tag is just like hitting enter. So if you want space between different items in a paragraph or in a sentence, you can use that break tag. Or even if you just want to spread things out on your page, you can add multiple break tags. And you'll notice now that the words, my first paragraph, each word is now on its own line. So we've learned about metadata, which you're going to add to every page, behind the scenes info with the description, the keywords, and the author. We've learned about headings. You have six different headings to choose from, with H1 being the largest and H6 being the smallest. We learned about the HR tag, which adds lines between items, and the break tag, which is just like hitting enter. And you can add multiple break tags to get additional lines in between items. And that's lesson two. Good luck, guys.